busy setting up pavilion dining here. Uh, it's a little bit of a three ring circus because um, they're just finishing the construction. The equipment is coming up to speed and we're troubleshooting some of that. There's a lot of uh, construction dust that's being cleaned away, but probably what's most pervasive is excitement. There's a lot of excitement about what's going on here. Uh, the cooks are transitioning from upstairs down to their station. Over the weekend, we'll be bringing food and setting stations so that we can have what I like to call a soft opening. In a nutshell, that's what's going on here. What you're seeing going on here is all the uh, production and preparation for today's lunch and everything that you see happening here is going to be happening in the new building right in front of the customers so there'll be a little bit of prep work behind the scenes but for the most part all the cooking preparing everything will be right in front of your eyes in the new student life pavilion and that's what we're preparing for with today's culinary institute training a series of training start you know back you know, a year and a half ago, and, and what we tried to do was to start from the education point of view. So we came and we did a week-long uh, training classes focusing on a single subject. So we came and we taught a week-long Mediterranean class, an Asian class, a Latin American class, just to give them the base scene, understanding the cooking techniques. That led to the menus being composed, the kitchens being designed, and now with that background knowledge, that basic foundation, they can understand the cookery a little bit easier. So now from cookery and theory, they can move into practicality and service. So this week what we're doing, we're focusing on each individual uh, facility uh, from the dining service pavilion that is coming up soon. And we're working the dishes that will be presented on the menu down there. So we work at the Moshui station, we work at the Lemongrass station, we work at the Chives concept, uh, work at the Nori concept, and on and on and so forth. All the way until today we're doing maize and tapenade. So basically the cooks, all the cooks, you know, we have a group of around 18 cooks in, in the kitchen right now, and that includes some sous chefs and, and crew leaders and on and on and so forth. And what they, they're doing, they've been exposed to the actual dishes that will be served for our guests for the first time. So we work in the Kingstown, we, we just kind of work in the technique and make sure that everybody understand the proper grilling techniques. And if you're looking for, you know, color, that's what we're gonna need to achieve. If you're looking for caramelization, that's what we're gonna need to achieve. So we're just kind of working and showing them how to, to create and compose and execute all the recipes cohesively and in, in a proper way. Uh, that also gave us a chance to go back to the recipes and perhaps eliminate some of the steps that were unnecessary that in order to facilitate their service, to make quicker, to make able to produce great food in a decent amount of time so the guests can come in and very quickly get a really, really high quality meal. You know, being a chef as long as I have been and, and, and now as an educator, you know, I, I really believe that, that the food has changed so much and the clientele is so much more educated about food. So the, the customers coming in, they definitely have an idea what they're about to taste. They already have a vision and, and a lightly concept and an understanding of what the flavor profiles of those cuisines are. One. The second fold is the cooks now from working in the back, in the kitchen, they in the front. They are part of the showpiece, they are part of the serve, they are part of the experience. So with education comes better communication, comes better understanding and a better service because if there is any specific questions they now can answer or at least have the tools to do a better job answering those questions. The other thing is, you know, cooking, you know, foods of Asia, there is so many different profiles from so many different directions over there. Now they understand that there is similarities, but they also understand that there are very, very clearly differences. So they know that. They know that this specific profile comes from a different region. That's why that dish is at Mushui Station. 
they understand that this flavor profile, although still Asian, but from a specific country, now that's why it's at Nori Station and lemongrass and on and on and so forth. So back to the education aspect, now they really have the tools to talk as a professional cook rather than a food service worker, which is a very different thing. So what the school is doing is really educating this, this, this crew and putting them in a different plateau when it comes to their own personal career, their own personal growth. So I, I, I think it's really a fabulous thing.